Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are doing a skin pathology from Medium Robbins and we are discussing uh, infectious dermatosis. Just may today we are going to focus on skin conditions caused by fungal infection. Now let me at the very outset tell you that fungal infections are uh, usually not common unless there are a few predisposing condition and one of the free, uh, few predisposing condition is the unhygienic scenario. So if the person is not following hygienic principles, um, the fungal infections are very very common there. So that unhygienic uh, ground is basically a predisposing factor for uh, fungal infections and I usually tell my students uh, you have to be very careful you know moisture is a very good um, a prerequisite for growth of fungi so I will give you an example so for example you are a very good person you take care of your hygiene very well and you bath daily and just after you shower and then up shoes man gigar se bahar nikal jate now what you are doing is ki agar ye um, uh, socks ya ye jo aapne garment apne paon mein lagaya if that is infected with uh, spores of the fungi what you are providing is moisture kyunki aapke paon geele the and then obviously you are in your shoe so darkness is there as well so some fungi just love dark dark color and they grow very rapidly the spores grow very rapidly so you are giving moisture you are giving darkness and this is perfect combination for growth of the fungus and then you are uh, you are worried ke yaar main to fingers ke beech mein fungus grow kar rahi hai why uh, because you are doing these things so always dry your feet dry yourself and then cover yourself with the cloth so that at least you are cutting off one of the prerequisites okay so fungal infections one prerequisite is unhygienic environment moisture and then if there is serious immunodeficiency type of status then fungal infections are common as well so uh, with this background let us dive into the text fungal infections are varied ranging from superficial infections which is skin only upper layers ko, superficial layers ko infect karenge, uh, and these organisms include tina or candida species and it can even be life threatening fungal infections just look at the word for example uh, aspergillus infection and this is very uncommon in um uh, un immunocompromised individuals this is one of the very big prerequisite for fungal infections fungal infections can be superficial which are usually caused by tina or candida and uh, if they are superficial though by definition it means that they are involving the upper layer of the epidermis so corneum hairs nails so these are like superficial things it can be deeper where subcutaneous tissue or dermis is involved it can even be systemic so Fungal infection can involve uh, you know different parts of the body by a hematogenous spread. So blood is going and this type of fungal infection, which spreads throughout the body, is rather more common in immunocompromised patients. I'm focus on this 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 is important. Okay. Clinically speaking, if these are superficial infections, usually produce erythematous macules, red looking macules, but superficial scale, khali ho sakti hai, itching. Uh, but if uh, there are deeper infections, such as with aspergillus species, uh, they can be erythematous, nodular, associated with local hemorrhage, there may be a little fever, some systemic signs. Superficial fungal infections may have annular appearance, this ring ban jate hai, skin par aapne dekhe bhi honge, daat bolte hai, am zaban mein. or they can be exematous. Uh, like that, pale looking hypopigmented skin hai. so always consider whenever you see a patient with eczema consider fungal infection as a differential diagnosis as well okay and uh, morphologically if we talk about the histology appearance varies depending on the organism uh, ka immune response kaisa hai, the host response and the degree of super infection or bacterial infection to nahi hai. this is also very common in fungal infections of skin superficial infections are upper layers ko infect kar rahe, they are often associated with neutrophilic infiltrate and deep infections that damage the inner structures and they initiate a granulomatous response. Aspergillus, for example, is angio invasive, blood vessel may invade karta hai, 
periodic acid shift it's a special type of a stain a color or a gomori methamine silver stain they identify fungal organism this is high yield for your examination purposes okay so that concludes our discussion on fungal infection actually let me tell you this is very very common and if it is involving systemic um, you know is spectrum here then it becomes very very serious stuff even if the nails are involved or somebody's hairs are involved you have to give systemic antifungal therapy otherwise nails or uh, hair ye topical treatment se theek nahi honge so agar infection sirf skin par hai then you can give topical ointment but if it is involving nails and hairs and systemic uh, um, you know involvement is there then you have to consider systemic yani oral therapy aapko deni padegi ye main phir pharma mein discuss kar chuka hu already so that's all about pathogenesis particularly uh, focusing on fungi